All right, welcome back to another album review here on the only YouTube channel, and welcome to the 12th installment of my Judas Priest review series. Leading up to the 50th anniversary of their first album, Rock and Roll, I've been reviewing every single one of their albums, and on that anniversary date, I plan on ranking all 19 of them. And today's obviously the 12th installment. We are looking at 1990s Painkiller. Going to be giving y'all all of my thoughts on this album. And before we get started, y'all be sure to drop all of y'all's thoughts on the album down in the comments below. I'm sure we'll all have very different opinions and perspectives, but that is the fun part about making these videos, seeing everybody's different takes. So with that out of the way, let's jump straight into it. So this album, Painkiller, in many ways could be looked as a good comeback album. Definitely one of the best comeback albums because, um, you know, the last few albums weren't super, super good albums for Judas Priest. I mean, they sold pretty well. They all went gold, but, you know, they weren't super, super received well. And, you know, anything they were going to put out was going to sell well since they had and still do a such large fan base. Because, you know, Turbo, Ram It Down, those aren't, you know, well-received albums. You know, some people do like them, including myself, but, you know, they're not top-tier Judas Priest albums. And so when this came back, you know pretty much brought the band back, you know, to the top of their game, because this is considered by many, including myself, definitely one of their best albums, without a doubt, and oftentimes claimed as one of the best heavy metal albums. I would definitely say this has been my top five favorite Judas Priest albums. It isn't my number one, but definitely would be in my top five, because this pretty much brought the metal back from them, because, you know, on like a Turbo, for instance, they were experimenting with glam metal influence, and they kind of got, you know, got very commercial in the 80s. This kind of brought back the metal that was present in the 70s, but except the metal on this album is way, way more intense than anything from the 70s. In my opinion, this is a metal record without a doubt. A lot of the 70s stuff, while it is classic heavy metal, could be considered hard rock more in some in some places than a straight-ahead heavy metal. A lot of that had to do with uh, the new drummer on this album, uh, Scott Travis, who was formerly of Racer X. You know, did a lot of double kick, double pedal, and, you know, pretty intense drumming style. You know, gave them a little bit heavier edge that uh, their last uh, drummer, Dave Holland, just wasn't able to pull off. And, of course, you have the rest of the classic guys on this album. You have Halford, Tipton, KK, and Ian Hill all on here in the band. You know, just sounds great on here. All the performances are top-notch, in my opinion. I love all the guitar playing on this album, especially many great guitar riffs, solos all throughout this album. But, of course, love Halford's vocals. Always uh, one, of, one of the best metal vocalists, without a doubt. And uh, a lot of his best vocal performances, in my opinion, are on this album. What it, What is a shame is this was the last uh, with Halford for a while. Uh, there will be two more albums after this one in the late 90s with Tim Ripper Owens. And he would eventually come back in 2005. Thankfully, he uh, came back. Otherwise, Judas Priest might have been done after the two uh, Tim Ripper Owens albums. But if this had been the last Judas Priest album for, for whatever reason, definitely a very good and high note to go out on. Because, you know, it's just a great album start to finish. Uh, lots of great songs, uh, I think, on this album. Of course, Painkiller, the title track, is a legendary classic song. One of the best metal songs. My other favorites would definitely be Lever Rebel, One Shot of Glory, Nightcrawler. Lots of great, great songs off of here. I think all ten of them are pretty, pretty solid. Which makes up, you know, for one of the most consistently start-to-finish Judas Priest albums, in, in my opinion. Another fact that I read about this album I found interesting is this album was finished in March of 1990, but didn't come out till September, because in 1990 is when they went to trial, because uh, a few uh, teenagers uh, decided to uh, commit suicide, and their parents ended up, you know, suing the band, because they thought, uh, you know, the song Better By You, Better Than Me, you know, pretty much influenced them to uh, take their own lives, and, uh, you know, just a completely ridiculous thing to accuse the band of, in my opinion. And, you know, uh, delayed of this album coming out many, many months, which I did talk about the trial a little bit more when I did my stained class review. But, thankfully, this album did come out since it is one of the greatest albums of all time. You know, Halford would leave in 92. Scott Travis would be in the band. Uh, you know, I think he is still in the band, uh, if I recall correctly. I'd have to go back and look. But, you know, great lineup, great songs, uh, great cover art for sure. Just overall, a fantastic Judas Priest album. Definitely a 10 out of 10 album by them. Really great metal album that I like a lot, and a lot of other people do. Y'all be sure to drop your thoughts on this album down in the comments below. I would really love to hear all of y'all's. 
So that is going to be all of my thoughts on Painkiller by Judas Priest. Be sure to check out my Judas Priest review series playlist if you haven't caught up on any of the other reviews. Definitely, I definitely encourage you to check out the playlist down below because if you like this one, I guarantee you like the rest of them. And I'll be putting out a review each and each day until we get to that 50th anniversary of Rockerola. Also down below in the description, I have links to where you can go follow me on Instagram and to where you can go stream my original music. I got four songs out right now on all streaming platforms. So, once you're done watching this video, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and giving the video a like. I would highly appreciate the support. Once you're done watching, blast Painkiller as loud as you can and have a wicked ass day.